I just finished taking super cold shower in Mongolian yurt. We are in the northern part of China in Inner Mongolian province and in this video we'll be talking about things you can do here in this beautiful place. We decided to go to Inner Mongolia from Shanghai by train. We went to Chifeng city and there we rented a car and we took a drive to Hulunbeir. In the same province in China, in Inner Mongolia, you can find both deserts and grasslands. Right now, we are in Hulunbeir grassland, which is the largest grassland in Inner Mongolia and in China. So the grasslands usually appear in the areas where the weather is not very humid and not very dry. Hulunbeir grassland stretches over of 93,000 km square. It is surrounded by almost 3,000 rivers and 500 lakes. It is the 10th largest and among top 3 most beautiful grasslands in the world. This place is also known as the Grass Kingdom because of the spectacular view. If you love riding horses, Inner Mongolia is the best place where you can spend your time just because there are more than, more than 8 million horses living in this province. It is 50 to 100 RMB to ride a horse here and the price depends on what kind of horse do you want to ride. It depends on the breed. If the horse is fast and bigger, you have to pay a little bit more. But normally it's just 50 to 100 RMB to ride a horse for an hour. If you are a horse lover, this is the perfect place for you to come. It is getting late and I decided to stay in traditional Mongolian yurt. I checked what I could find nearby and this place seems to be the best one. The receptionist told me that the yurts have bathrooms, although there is no hot water, I think it's not a big deal for me, so I decided to stay here for a night. Good morning everyone, I slept really well in this yurt. And today is day two in Inner Mongolia. I'm so much excited because today we'll be trying the local food. So let's hit the road. One of my friends recommended me to visit this place. He told me that in this restaurant I can find most of the local delicious food. So let's check out and let's see what is inside. It's a camel pie made with camel meat and this is my very first time I'm trying 
camel meat actually. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, it's nice. The next thing that we ordered is Mongolian milk tea, one of the most popular local dishes. This dish is usually served for breakfast, to be honest it's not morning here but I decided to order it because most of my friends told me that I have to try this one, it's very popular here. It comes with crispy fried rice, dry milk, milk tofu, butter and dried beef. This one is a milk cream, absolutely fresh, you can see the crispy rice on the top with milk tofu. I love this one the best and I'm sure if you like dairy, this can become your favorite dish. We also ordered local dessert, but the main dish was the grilled lamb. You can see how interesting it is decorated, and I'm not going to lie, it was one of the most delicious lamb I had tried in my life. It's time to leave this place. I'm pretty much satisfied with everything here. To be honest, the best dish for me was the milk cream but overall everything was pretty much delicious. Our last destination was the Gobi Desert. It is located in the northern part of China and in the southern part of Mongolia. Here are some interesting facts about the Gobi Desert. We're riding camel this time in Inner Mongolia. We're going to the desert. Let's see what is interesting in there. The first fact that Gobi has one of the world's most extreme weather conditions with rapid temperature changes. You may think that the deserts do not have snowfall, but this desert does, and dunes of this desert are covered with snow in winter. Gobi Desert is the largest desert in Asia and the fifth largest in the world. It is the most important archaeological place where first discovered that dinosaurs laid eggs. Could you ever imagine that in China you can ride a camel? So if you like riding camels, driving cars through the deserts, this place can be a good choice for you. Before saying goodbye, I'd like to stop next to this place, which is called Abu. Everywhere in this region, you can find many Abus on the top of the hills and mountains. When traveling, it is custom for Mongolians to stop and circle an Abu three times in order to have a safe journey. I will do the same and wish good luck to all of you.